Hey, we're just going to do a quick tutorial on cl cleaning up green screen spillage. So I'll show you the problem areas first. We have some spillage in the hair here, which is kind of a greenish tone. I'll get in really close here so you can see it. We have some spillage on a little bit of the shirt here where this should be kind of the grayish black tone and it's got a little bit of green spillage from the cast. Same with here where the skin is touching the paper. We have to clean this up as well. So how to do that? Let's get started. I'm going to make a new layer. Command Shift N. I'm going to call this Color Cast. And the blend mode, we don't have to do this now, but I'm eventually going to switch to Hue if you want to get it started right now. So Hue, I won't do it for the sake of the tutorial. I will do it the long way and go to the layer mask or sorry, layer blend mode, which is inside the layers palette, and I'm going to switch it to hue. And how to do this is really, how I, how I like to do it is just kind of sample the parts of the skin that it should look like. In the case, this area here should be in a little bit of a shadow area. So it's probably somewhere maybe in here is where that color would repeat itself. So you'll notice over here that on my um, swatches that I have actually selected. You can see me kind of picking this area in here with the eyedropper tool, letter I. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to hit the letter B for brush. And what I'm going to do is paint over this with a big dumb brush. So I'm going to hit Control, Option, and Spacebar, and absolutely nothing is going to happen until I push down on my stylus or mouse, whatever it happens to be that you're using. I use a stylus. And I'm just going to kind of left to right. I can change the size of my brush. Some people like the bracket keys going bracket key right, bracket key left to make your brush bigger. I don't. I like it to be a little bit faster and do it right on the fly. You can also go up and down with your um, pen or mouse, whatever you're using, and change the hardness right on the fly, which saves saves me time. I don't know how it, how it works for you, but saves me a lot of time. Again, before I hit the paint on the canvas, I'm letting you guys know I am using this tone over here, and I'm just going to take a big dumb brush and paint right over it. Oh my gosh, you're wondering what the heck is going on. You're painting over. Not a big deal. Um, because what I did earlier, and this this is a side note, for, this could be a whole video on its own, is like masking um, the subject in this case. I pulled her out, and what I can do with that selection is I can activate it, and go back to my layers palette, and in my color cast, I can just create a mask for it. And just so for the sake of a demonstration here, I'll get in really tight on this so you guys can see what happens. And I'm going to add a layer mask with the Marching Ants active from the selection here. I'm going to go ahead and hit the mask on our new layer called Color Cast. And it disappears. Because now you can see I have that mask associated with this layer. So I can go back in now and I don't have to worry about like spilling onto the paper like I just did on the skin area here. So the next Color Cast we're going to hit is right in this zone here. I'm going to grab an eyedropper tool. I'll grab this kind of, oops, let's go on a different layer here. Make sure that we're, there's two different options here when you're painting. There's painting, and the only way you can see this is in your layers palette over here. And um, what I'm doing is I'm toggling between the actual cant or the layer itself and then the layer mask. They're two totally different things. So you want to paint on the layer. You don't want to paint on the layer mask. So I'm going to paint on the layer. Go back in here. We're going to take this. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go with the default and paint with black. Screw it. Letter D for default. You can see that over here, that my black is active. Grab a brush. Since the layer is already set to hue, I can just start painting right on this. It gets rid of that ugly hue and super brainless. Doesn't take a lot of effort. I'm just using a big dumb brush right now and I love how I can just change it right on the fly. Super easy. Let's get rid of this some of this um, green cast in the hair. Eyedropper tool, letter I. I'm going to grab some of this nice color in here, grab a brush, 
maybe size down my brush a little more. My opacity is 40%. You can change this to whatever works for you. I like to paint really soft. Um, and let's get some of that out of here. Really simple. Oh, this is really helping out a lot. So let's make our brush a little softer. And we'll go with 30% opacity and just clean all this up over here. 40%, kind of get some casting in here, in here. And for the sake of that, this is just a, a demo or just a quick tutorial. I think that's good enough. So there we go. We're removing casting from green screen. Thanks for watching.